Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Bell's palsy and Ramsey Hunt syndrome. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Bell's palsy. It is an idiopathic peripheral facial paralysis or paresis of acute onset due to damage to facial nerve. It usually affects one side of the face. It is a diagnosis of exclusion. That is, Bell's palsy is diagnosed when all other known causes of peripheral facial paralysis are excluded. 80 to 90 percentage of the patients with Bell's palsy recover completely. Bell's palsy is recurrent in 3 to 10 percent of patients. Etiology of Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is can be due to a viral infection, especially herpes family of viruses. It can be due to vascular ischemia. It's also thought to be hereditary and an autoimmune disorder. What are the clinical features of Bell's palsy? It is sudden in onset. There will be loss of wrinkles in the affected side of the face. The, there will be white palpable fissure in the affected side of the face. There will be epiphora that is excessive uh, tearing, uh, that is excessive secretion of tears, absence of nasolabial fold, drooping of angle of mouth, pain in the ear, and loss of taste in the affected side of the face. This is a classical representation of a patient with Bell's palsy. Note the loss of wrinkles, absence of nasolabial fold and drooping of uh, angle of mouth in the affected side of the face, which in this case is the left side of the patient. How will you treat a case of Bell's palsy? General measures in treatment of Bell's palsy are reassurance to the patient, analgesics for ear pain, care of the eye. Since uh, the eyelids don't function normally, you need to take uh, extra care of eye for the patient with Bell's palsy. Physiotherapy of facial muscles is also necessary for a case of Bell's palsy. What is the medical management? You will give steroids, especially prednisolone. What is the surgical treatment for a patient of Bell's palsy? Uh, nerve decompression. Uh, in order to do, uh, do nerve decompression, it is necessary that you localize the site of lesion. Now, moving on to Ramsey Hunt syndrome. It is also known as herpes zoster oticus. It is caused due to reactivation of latent varicella zoster virus that has remained dormant within the sensory ganglia of the facial nerve. Pa patient presents with facial paralysis plus vesicular rash in the external auditory canal and pinna. It can also involve 5th and 8th cranial nerves, but it mostly involves the 7th cranial nerve. Treatment is similar to the treatment of Bell's palsy, but antivirals like acyclovir should also be added. This is a classical representation of a patient with Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Note the facial paralysis, which in this case is in the right side of the patient, and the vesicular rash in the external auditory canal and pinna. Thank you.